Sorry. Sorry you won't butter any parsnips. Usual madness here, I see. <sighs> Can we just go home? Hi, Danny. No, that's your job. Oh, God, are you still here? Excuse my husband. Is this your baby? No, we rescued it from the pound. Honey, this is Billy. Boy or girl. Actually, Billy's into sex. What's that look for? You are a monster. No baby is into anything sexual. OK, no, 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 no. Billy is into sex, not into sex. Oh. What's wrong with you? Oh, the patients in this place are disgusting. I just thought the doctors were too. Damo! What a charmer. She make a good nanny. What are we going to do? Fire Danny, get someone new. She's just so good with Billy. I know, and kind, and sweet, and fun, and pretty. So damn pretty. Can you stop it? But her boyfriend has a gun and a bad attitude, and if he comes back... Yeah, it's too dangerous. I don't care how pretty Danny is. Did I mention she's pretty? Let's just go home and do this. Bag's not sacking her. What? She makes me weak in the knees. I can't do it. Because she's pretty. You think? Right, forget it. I don't want to sick her. Neither do I, but you're right, we have to, for Billy's sake. Rock, paper, scissors? That's pathetic. Really? Always. Whoa! Rats. Uh, Jesus, poor TK. Are you sure it was Jed? Yep, she just got here now. Oh, oh, oh. Bye. Hi. 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 How's my little Billy bum? Sleeping. Did Drew and his mum get on okay? Danny, we need to talk. Oh. You're doing this now. Do you know what I'm going to say? I'm fired, right? It's not because we don't adore you, because we do. It's because of Jed. Yeah. He's shot someone else now, someone that we know. The doctor. I'm scared for Billy. Yes. Jed would never hurt Billy. We're scared for you as well. He'd never hurt me either. Look, Danny, from one woman to another, from me, someone who's been there and done that, you need to let him go. They'll catch him soon. He'll kill him and... That'll be that. Sorry. I'm sorry for causing you all this worry. Oh, none of this is your fault. Sure it is. I love the wrong guy, but you love Billy. And so do I, and Billy comes first. I'll pack my things. Now? It's best. For Billy. Well, TK's chosen an annoying time to be shot, isn't he? Yeah, okay, I'll call you back in five. Bye. Problems with your doctor friend? Yeah, uh, he'll live, but uh, he can't work his shift tonight and we can't find a replacement, so I am down a doctor and a nanny. Sorry. You're gonna hate me for asking me this. I can watch Billy if you need to get into work. You're way too good at that. What? Just knowing what I'm gonna say before I say it? You and me were on the same wavelength, I guess. And... I could never hate you, Papa. You've been so good to me. I'll get Billy if you no, need to I'm get into it. You think it's not safe? It's just a few more hours. You know, it's just not really fair on you, though, is it? I don't mind. I do. You don't want me? Of course I do. And let's have one last night together. Still here. I could say the same to you. Well, I have four more nose jobs and an aponectomy. I should be finished sometime around Christmas. Uh, I'm heading home. Eddie's under control. No thanks to TJ. Real heroes do their shift, even if they've been shot. Seriously? No. The guy's a legend. Even bullets can't stop him. He said they found Jed's gun. But not Jed. And the little prick can always nick another fight. Yeah, I know. You're still sad about Danny. We'll find another nanny. Sure. One who'll be just as good as Billy. I hope so. But... You won't have a homicidal boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. What she saw in her mind will never know. Sure, he had that amazing well, hair, she's but... young. She doesn't know what she wants. Shame. Girl that hot, she could have anyone. 
Can you not? What? I I'm sick of hearing about how sexy Danny is. Babe, I'm teasing yep. like you tease me. I'm over it, OK? OK. The next nanny will be an ugly, hairy bloke. That is fine by me. You want me, don't you, Harper? <laughs> 